I went to a women's drum circle and then I started taking lessons from the lady who led the drum circle and that kind of snowballed and then I started leading drum circles and then I started um, with another group um, with my friend Russ I'm in his still in his group we've been together for since 2008 I think so 11 years it's an African drumming group and so we actually you know play the djembes and the African bass drums the dununs in an ensemble and we meet every Monday um, now it's in Germantown and we actually been we've been doing performances for a good eight nine years so then Russ and I and two or three other people. I remember the day we came here to Isthmus Instruments and I think we bought four hand pans that day. We, we fell in love with them. And <clears throat> that was my first hand pan. That was November, early November of 2016 that I picked it up here. And now I've got three more hand pans. <laughs> that original hand pan is sold to a good owner. And now I've at home, I've got three other ones. And so I now play myself. I play duets with my friend Sarah. I played in a trio with three of us. We do trios and we've also gone as far as having four or five people play together a song. We put songs together with four or five people playing the hand bands, which is pretty neat, you know. had the great opportunity to do you know several different things out in the community like you said with the um, meditation a friend of mine she owns a yoga studio and I've been doing you know a monthly maybe you know every month to every two months a hand pan meditation at this yoga studio for geez close to two years now and all it is is, is us playing and people either sitting or laying on the floor and in meditation they really it's not participatory it's just them taking them those sounds in you know and I just tell them to whatever you get out of this is, is great and if you want to get up move around whatever you feel like you want to do just let the music you know do whatever it needs to do for you today um, but the other thing with the animals that you were asking about with the horses um, and I'm gonna do another one of these what we have done two years in a row now is a benefit for the animals at the Stardust Animal Sanctuary in Richmond, Illinois. Um, and it's a place that they, uh, it's, it's a rescue place where they have, you know, got, they've got horses, pigs, um, goats, chickens, lots of farm type animals. And it's for animals that don't have a home and they, they live out the rest of their life at this place. They take care of them. And so, it's been such a great experience. You know, I usually play with four or five other different types of groups or musicians. We have different segments throughout the day, and the hand pan is one of them, and it's it's a magical experience. Like this last time, I remember there was a horse that was, there's a picture of me. It was right next to me as I was playing with its head over the fence. You know, like it was just, it was listening. It wanted to, you know, I must have been drawn in by the hand pan. And so I love animals, and so being able to do that and incorporate the hand pan into something that's going to benefit animals that don't have a home, it's, that, it's so, so special. I just like to see What's magical to me is to see what can be created. And you know, you don't necessarily have to be planning it out. It can be just something that happens. And to me, I love that. Like a song will just kind of build itself. You're building it, but it's kind of almost like it's coming from somewhere else type of thing. And I mean, it just it's it's relaxing to me. It's it's relaxing, it's therapeutic and it's and I love to be able to play it for other people and you know have them get some kind of benefit from it too, whether it's a real relaxation or just a peacefulness or healing, whatever it may be. You know, I guess there's a lot of things I like about playing the handpan, um, but it's just given me having these instruments has just really 
been great for me because it's like, okay, this is a musical instrument that I can play and I can comp compose music on this. Songs, my own music, you know, I'm not playing off of some, you know, m written music. I'm composing these songs and we're playing them and it, it's, we're creating this stuff, you know? So that to me is, it's just magical to be able to do that. You know, and especially when you can improvise with other people. Like when I came here that one day with you and Shlomo, it was so cool because we didn't plan any of that. It just happened. It was like, this is awesome. <laughs> so it's not like, you know, you can, you don't have to necessarily always be making songs. You can be just j jamming with other people and creating stuff, you know, off the fly and just, yeah. It's, so it's very diverse instrument. come when we're we are now recording our first CD and this is a long time coming because this has been three years of preparation for this but now we're at a point where we have enough material and we've been playing together long enough that you know we are ready to put this together and it's gonna take a while it's gonna be probably a, a couple months before this is finished you know but <clears throat> It's exciting. That's the biggest thing because people are always asking, do you have a CD? Can we get a CD? No, we don't have a CD. <laughs> but now I can say we are we're recording a CD right now. <laughs>